Hi everyone, in this video we will generate PDF in PHP. Okay, using PHP we will use FPDF class. Okay, so first of all we will download this FPDF class, then we will use it. So you have the link of this download button in the uh, download link in the description. So you can download, come to this page and then download this class. Okay, download TT, TGZ or zip file. Which one you would like to download? I have already downloaded the zip uh, file. Okay, let's check that in the download section. See, I have downloaded this and then I extract it in my uh, docs. Okay, here I extracted that. And we have the FPDF class and uh, inside this folder. And let's come to the Visual Studio Code Editor. We have our test folder, okay, which was there in the ZAM folder. And I have created generate PDF file. So now let's start our PHP script. So first of all, we will import the um, that file. Okay, let's come PDF and FPDF that PHP. We will import this. After that, uh, first of all, let's create a class. The name of the class will be PDF. It will extend F PDF. PDF. Now let's create a function. First of all, function. It will be header. This function, uh, sorry. Uh, here we will use this keyword and first we will take an image. Okay, I have already imported an image, image.png. So I will use that image. Uh, the first thing is the path, image.png. And the second thing is that from x side, okay, x side, for example, t and y from the up, from y side, it will take. Uh, uh, six and also uh, the width okay the width would be like uh, we can specify 27 uh, after image uh, let's set the font for this header this uh, set font uh, the font would be Arial. the family of font would be Arial, and the style would be bold because it is a header and the size would be um, 17 uh, after that so let's move to the right it means from left side from logo to the right side okay so let's create a cell this cell and we will go uh, 80 okay the width for 80 we will go to the right side so now we will create another cell that would be for to write something at the center okay cell uh, first uh, the size the width of the cell would be like 30 sorry 30 and um, height uh, height would be 10 uh, as we have specified in the image the height in here also 10 and now let's specify uh, write something that would be like uh, heading and again we have the border is 1 and the line 0 and after that the a line would be center. Uh, now let's take a line, okay? Break this uh, L in. It will take a line break 20, 30, space of 13. So after the header, we have created our header. So now let's create another function which is uh, it will extends. Uh, no, sorry, footer. But before this, we will first check it how it looks like. Okay, so now let's create an object of the uh, PDF class. PDF is equal to new PDF. After creating the uh, PDF, we will just uh, use PDF align pay number of pages. Set the font. The font would be like times and no style and the size would be 11 now we cannot print any data just output it okay now i will just for the output purpose i will just write it output i will not specify any name so let's run it how it looks like 
it's from the local house the zombie is running okay slash we will come to the test folder after generate pdf we will come here see we have this heading section okay so now let's print the footer and also the uh, data and let's do the footer first of all in the footer area uh, first i will sit to this uh, sit y Uh, from where side it would be like uh, minus 20 and this uh, sit fold fold would be aerial and uh, style would be italic and would be um, at the size after that let's create a seal write something in it um, width would be 0 and um, height 10 and let's write page in the footer we will write page and also we will uh, adjust the page number with this space dot this page number this function will print the page number and after that let's Right, slash NB. Order line and align center. After creating the PDF, so now let's print some data. Okay, uh, to print the data, let's use a formula for that. I uh, is equal to with one I less than for example 30 lines you would like to print and i plus plus let's print the data we will print a seal okay pdf seal and this seal we will in the width would be zero and the height would be 10 and the data would be that uh, printing the line number we will just start uh, i and after that let's specify the uh, border zero and line would be one yes it's okay so now let's check it how it looks like let's refresh it uh, sorry where is the error page has uh, been number one okay uncut explain error number page has been added yet in there is a error so it says no page oh sorry we didn't add it any page fda add a page Okay, so after adding the page, so let's refresh it. See that has sold. We have our data 30 lines heading, and also in the footer section, we have this number of pages, page number. Okay, so it was all about printing the data in PHP using PHP with the FVDF class. So, if you have liked this video, please subscribe our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.